Here's a review on the Crane Plus gimbal. It's actually be sitting on a Canon 80D with a microphone, as you can see here. This is a real review. I bought this with my own money. Nobody gave it to me. So what you're getting from me is my personal ideas on what I think of this crane gimbal. Here I am running up some stairs and I'm moving pretty quick. I was really quite surprised at how smooth that was. We took it out in the uh, backyard to play around with it for a little bit, but I've been playing with it for a good couple of days here, really messing with it. When I come off of here, that's a big step there. I mean, literally, that's like stepping off two or three steps at once. That's a big drop, and you didn't even see the jerking or anything. That's really impressive. But um, after playing with it for the two days, I'm really, really, really impressed with this. That's where I'm actually using the joystick. Now, I can open an app and play with these settings a lot different if I want. On the camera, I didn't set it up for any special video quality. I just had it on, like, um, TV mode and just went for it. And it was getting closer to dusk, so light wasn't that great. But it was really quite easy to hang on to. That's actually a 360 degree um, turn. You actually just click the button three times and boom, it spins the camera right around to point it at you. Click it three times again, boom, back it goes. Which a lot of uh, vloggers are probably going to like. And then you're back to recording, which is really, really cool, I thought. And then there I did it again, I clicked it three times. So this is going to be an in-depth review on the Crane Plus. And like I said, I bought it. It wasn't given to me. This is a real review, guys. You're getting it from an amateur. I'm not a professional. So maybe you'll get something out of this actual review of the Crane Plus with it on a Canon 80D. And uh, I'm actually really, really impressed with that. But let's get back to my thoughts and what I actually think about this thing. The footage is really smooth if you've seen from the beginning. Hit the button three times, swings around as you're seeing. What I've noticed is when you're using the crane, you can't just hit the button and expect it to respond. They probably did this to, um, to prolong the battery life within this thing. So when you want to actually use the control, the joystick on the crane, you got to give it one clip, which is no big deal. You'll see that it will respond and now it's ready. So you could click it three times, the camera will turn, click it twice, you can get that panning. It's really cool. What I did was I tried running up some stairs, running some down some stairs. It might be pretty dark, but I was trying to see how it would jump up and down. Did it really quick in my backyard. I've been playing with this for a good part of two days now. And I would say to balance it, to put the camera on there. And I've got a microphone and a Canon 80D on this crane right now, the Crane Plus. Works great. I originally had the extra battery compartment under the Canon 80D where you can put two batteries. It worked, but it wasn't perfect. So I took that off and I put just the Canon 80D, just the microphone. And the higher you go with the Canon 80D on this gimbal, the harder it is to calibrate. But if you've got just the Canon 80D, just the microphone on the Crane Plus, it takes a little while to um, balance it on the gimbal. The first time, I would say it was frustrating. I spent, I don't know, probably close to a good hour trying to figure out how to get it, and it was very frustrating. And you are going to get frustrated. If you pick up this gimbal, you're going to walk away. Walk away after 20 minutes, take a deep breath. Do not be in a hurry. Once you figure it out, and you actually do it once or twice, no, it, it's really easy to balance that camera. It literally takes me 
not even five minutes now. I've done it. I've done it like 50 times since I've been playing with this uh, crane plus gimbal. First time was frustrating. I almost sent it back, but um, once I got it going, I was really, really impressed with it, and uh, it makes it easier to hang on to. Right, it's up. It's sitting right now on its own tripod, the Canon 80D, the microphone, an external microphone sitting on top of the camera. It's not even wireless, and it's sitting there. I can literally reach out, grab the joystick. Like I said, I pushed the button once to make it more responsive, and now I can actually start moving the joystick to move it around. See that? There is an app to where if I don't like how fast that is right now, that left and right, you see how quick that's going? There is an app, I did load it. And uh, where you can adjust the speed of that, how quick and how slow you want it to go. But I haven't touched that yet. I did load the app up. I did take a look at it. So, so far with the Crane Plus, I haven't found any bugs in it. At first, I thought there was a bug in the, in the Crane Plus. Um, at first, when I had to press the button... And I go and move the joystick. I'm like, why isn't this thing moving? Why isn't it responding? And then I'd be like, I'd push the button and it would finally go. And I'd be like, oh, is it broke? Is, does this thing need a software upgrade? And no, the way it's designed is you got to press the button once after it sits idle for a while. And then you'll have access to that joystick to do what you want. One thing about this gimbal is take your time with it. Don't be in a hurry. Literally, take your time using it. I have no regret. If this thing continues to work and doing what it's supposed to do right now, I have no regrets buying this thing at all. It's awesome. Go pick it up. Now, I'm not telling you that because this company, whatever they're called there, Zirin, you know. I'm not telling you to go buy this because they sent me this crane. No. I bought this crane plus with my own money. So this is a real review. Nobody gave it to me. I'm not getting any perks off this, nothing. So what I'm telling you is basically from an amateur's point of view, not even a professional, and how I'm getting the hang of it and what I'm doing. Now, if you're a professional, you're, everything's going to be a lot quicker for you. But this, this took me time. So expect a good hour to set it up the first time. I would say literally after that, yeah, 20 minutes. You can put... An interchangeable clip where you clip it off, clip it on to make it quicker. But um, the way it stands when it comes out of the box, you screw it on. This is the Canon 80D DSLR full camera with the microphone on top. And the screen is actually flipped out here while I'm talking to you so I can see myself. When I've got the screen flipped in or flipped out, there's a little bit of a balance difference. Not much. It doesn't really affect anything. It still continues to work. If you want it to be perfect then balance it with the screen out so that way you don't get any form of tilt whatsoever. Now the Crane Plus is supposed to have some slow motion and other things built into the app. I still want to get get the hang of and uh, check out and use. I'm waiting for a warm day to do that. So I am going to have some other videos on this gimbal and uh, even some instructional videos on how to use this crane. But so far after having it and playing with it now for a good couple of days, and I mean, I put some major hours on this thing. I mean, the one day I put a good six or seven hours playing around with it, I mean, setting it up, swearing at it. Um, but once I had it all set up, I was really, really, really happy. So if you do pick up the Crane Plus, and like I said, links in the bottom, it's probably gimbals are getting more affordable. The prices are coming down. It's becoming the war on gimbals. It really is. They, they really are getting more affordable where people can actually pick these things up. The construction of the um, Crane Plus. Really well made, all aluminum parts. I don't see really any plastic parts really anywhere that I can see. Motors sound really good, really strong. Another gripe I have, I went to look for a second set of batteries. I haven't found where they sell the batteries. 
I did find where they sell the batteries and the charger, and I think they were around 50 bucks. I thought that was a pretty high price for just two batteries. But it's new coming out, so, and you don't really need the batteries. I mean, it, this thing probably lasts a good 10 or 12 hours, but I just thought I'd take a quick look. And they are rechargeable batteries. They do give you the charger, plug it in, USB connection, and you're charging the batteries that go to it. Two big batteries, that's all you need. Go into the handle, you're done. That's it. But only thing, like I said, that I could find a gripe about this Crane Plus is when I had the extra battery compartment on the Canon 80D, which allowed you to run two batteries, which made the camera heavier. Um, it sat too high on the actual tripod of the Crane Plus. And then it would kind of just flop left or right. It made, I had it once. But it wasn't really easy to, you know, balance that Canon 80D on that Crane Plus. It did not make it easy whatsoever. So, you're better off not to use it. If you want to make it easier. Because I noticed the higher I went with the camera, the harder it became to try to, um, to basically just get it centered so it's not flopping. And I mean, I had a lot of gadgets underneath my camera. I had the battery compartment underneath my camera. I mean, literally, I was going that much higher off my camera. And it, it, was, it was just too unpredictable. When I took that off, I put the Canon 80D with the microphone on top. Now you got a lower center, center of gravity, and it's perfect. Oh my God, it's perfect, as you've seen in the footage. Anyhow, that's the Crane Plus. Here's a quick review. If you're thinking about buying it, like I said, this is running on a Canon 80D. And uh, if you are thinking about buying it, buy it. I'll tell you right now, it, it's it's amazing. It, it, there's, everything about it is super good. It really is. I haven't found anything in the way of jerkiness or motors not working right or jitteries i haven't found anything whatsoever in this crane plus with my canon 80d yet but again it's new it's only a couple days old and uh, this is a real review i bought this the company did not contact me i didn't contact them i really wanted to be 110 percent honest and wanted nothing on top of me nobody saying hey you got to do this because of this no this was bought with my own money and uh this is a real review not somebody that's being stoked up. So, if you're thinking about buying a Crane Plus, go buy it. Links are in the bottom if you want to get it. And um, it's 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 amazing. Your your photography, your video taking, I mean, will definitely be amazing. Because literally, you're getting a tripod too, with a gimbal, with time lapse. I mean, you're getting quite a bit if you think about it. I mean, I've got this thing sitting on my table right now, and. You know, if I'm anywhere, if I'm out camping, if I'm walking around, I mean, I could literally pop up the tripod, set it on the table, and start talking to it like I'm doing right now. Boom, tripod. If I get up and walk away with it, now you've got the, the gimbal doing is what it's supposed to do. Hit the button three times, camera swings around, hits what you're talking about. When you get the hang of it, hit it three times again, boom, camera switches back to you, and you're off and running. You look really professional if you're using it for vlogging. So there are quite a few options that I'm looking at this. But like I said, I'll have other videos on this. And um, this is just a part one series of me evaluating this Crane Plus. If you're thinking about buying it, go pick it up. You're not going to regret it. Uh, but I'm going to actually have some tutorials when I do time lapse. And I'll even maybe I'll do one if, if anybody wants of me setting it up with the Canon 80D. I'll even do, you know, how I do it, what I do. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. If not... You know, there are other videos out there that do show you how to do that. So I never really went into that. But uh, I would say this is one of my better purchases for a camera, if you're thinking about expanding. And um, I have no regrets with buying this whatsoever. I think it's really, really cool. So anyhow, this is the uh, Xeon, I guess you call it. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Crane Plus Gimbal. It is housing. It is handling a Canon 80D DSLR with a microphone on top with uh, no problems whatsoever. Anyhow, catch you guys on the next one.